Yes, it is true. I'm pushing myself to the limit to unpack as many editing techniques as possible from the Beast Games series. We had an easy one last week, but this time around, put on your seat belts. To the three of you, I'm so sorry. I don't want to hear you. Well, creating this elimination effect is going to be very easy for you if you follow this tutorial carefully. Straight from your toolbar, add a quick text. And then without wasting much time here, let's go to the advanced to do the customization. Right here, of course, my dear friend. The very first thing is to replace this text here with just an X. After that, I'll change the font to something like Roboto Black. Then from the preview screen, I'm going to increase the scale of this X here to something like 500. And of course, on the right side of your preview screen, we do the customization. Right here under the fill, change the color to red. Just down there, you'll find the outline. Change the outline color to white. Down here, leave the opacity on 100%, the blur on maximum, and the thickness on 37. After that, let all other options as they are and then apply to save changes. Now, once that is done, my dear friend, you have to go to your files right here and then project settings. Just to increase the project resolution, adjust it to 4K, which is our maximum right here, and then increase the frame rate to 60 FPS. Then after that, take a screenshot. Now you can go back again to the project settings, Bring it back to 1080 or 720 just to ensure the smoothness as you edit. Now, my dear friends, let's start the journey of putting effects on this X. All right? So the very first thing right here, we want it to glow. Okay? If you look on Mr. Beast's elimination effects there, it's glowing. That's the very first thing. All right? So for us right here, let's go to the Effects tab and then search for Soft Glow. Go to the Effect Properties and then we set the color to 75, the glow to 70, the range to 80 and the size to 6. Well, I don't feel like the glowing is much enough, so I'm going to search again for another glowing effect called the Glow Color. On the effect properties this time around, set the feathering to 68, the intensity to 0.59, the red blur intensity to 1.14, the green blur intensity to 0.99, and then lastly, the blue blur intensity just as default, which is 0.98 is fine. Now that we have the glowing effect on our X, my dear friend, there is still something missing. If you look at Mr. Beast's effect right there, you find out there are some lines, which are actually horizontal lines, which make the whole thing cool. Let's go again to the Effects tab right there and search for the effect called Scar Line Effect 1. Leave the angle on 0.00 and then set the density to 5 and the opacity to 25. Now, if you look how this effect is affecting our X, right here, my dear friend, you find out that the effect is going too far. But we do not want it to go that far. But we only want it to affect only up to the edges. So for us to keep it right there, we are just going to use this option right here, which is the effect mask. And then, as you can see right here from the previous screen, this is the area that I would like this effect to affect. You can increase the blur strength to something like 10 and the opacity to 60. Now we are almost there, but there is something again that is missing. Well, if you look very carefully this time, you find out that this X of Mr. Beast is not just dead. There is actually some lively actions inside the X. Well, let's go back again to the effects tab this time around, search the effect that is called Noise Map. Alright, for this one right here, 
Set the color to 49 and then the intensity 3 and the strength 39. Once more, this effect is extending beyond my liking. So again, I'm going to use the masking to limit it within the borders. All right, again, check right here on the previous screen. I'm going to use the custom masking. And for the masking, I'm going to increase the blur strength to just two and then leave the opacity on 100%. And that's it. Very, very well done. Now we are done with our effect, my dear friend. Let's move on to the second chapter of sticking them to the contestants. But then, if you are enjoying this video until this very point, why don't you just subscribe? Thank you so much for doing that. And this is where things get a little trickier, so pay more attention this time around. Now, the thing animates for about a second, or just less than a second, as it hit the eliminated person. That means we are going to do keyframes for the first two effects, starting off with the soft glow So just move on to the glow color here, and then again, add another layer of keyframes, all right. Now you go back to the very starting frame of this X, right here in the timeline, and then here you get changes. You know, just to increase the intensity of the whole thing. And right here, of course, you are going to increase the color, the glow, the range, even the size. Go to the glow color. And again, make some adjustments, especially on the intensity. I used to struggle, lost in frames, hours wasted, chasing now, as you can see, on the very starting frame of the whole thing, is extremely glowing as it approaches the eliminated person. Now, that's not enough. Let's go again to the image right there. And then, under Transform Table, down there, under the compositing, add a keyframe right there. And then, on the first frame, reduce it to about 43. And this is going to increase its opacity gradually as it approaches the person. Filmora's got the perfect direction Text to speech and motion graphics too Every update I see something new The magic mask, it's pure delight Tracking faces, making edits tight With smart tools like auto refresh. This is where things get a little harder when comparing ourselves with Adobe After Effects Because the thing is for us to track this elimination effect on the eliminated person, we are going to use motion tracking or planar tracking. But guess what? Those two effects cannot be applied. Keyframes and motion tracking. They don't exist together in Filmora, that's actually impossible. But don't worry, we can always trick it around. That's why I'm here. Now, give me your attention for a minute. Because we want both keyframes and motion tracking, we cannot compromise any of the two. So the best way right here is to separate the keyframed portion from the second part of the video that we can do the motion tracking. And we can only do that by just splitting a frame after the last keyframe. Which means this last part is no keyframe and is ready to be motion tracked. And the first part is only going to do the scale intro or zooming effect on the starting point of the effect. Now let's do the motion tracking part. Select your video with the person that is going to be eliminated. Before Filmora 14, I was lost, chasing shadows, counting costs, but now And then right there on the AI tools, scroll down, and then go to the motion tracking, turn it on. Adjust it from the preview screen to match exact person with the high contrast area so that you can trick it without disturbance.
Now once that is done, use the second split of your X as the target of your tracking. And this simply means that the first split of your X is the animation, and then the rest is the tracking. How cool is that? And once that is done, you have something like this. Now, one more trick, my dear friend, before we get to the very end of this video, and this is very important. If you look in Mr. Beast's video, he could eliminate a lot of people in one frame in one clip. All right? So how can we apply our elimination effect not just on one person, but on a couple of people? All right. Now the very first thing, duplicate your exit so that you have multiple elimination effects. And for this example right here, I'll just add one more so that you get the idea. Now, you can right select the duplicated file right there and then rename it to make it easy for the second motion tracking. Now, after that, you are again going to duplicate the clip that you've got people that you're going to motion track, like for this example. Right here, I'm going to duplicate this clip right there. And then on the above clip, I go again to the motion tracking option right there. And then this time around, I adjust the motion tracking option. Right there, from the previous screen to another person, I also want to eliminate. And once that is done, rerun the motion tracking. Now on this one, right there, set the target to our duplicated clip that we gave a new name. You can now just hide this clip by selecting E. This is going to hide this video clip right there, however it keeps the motion tracking active. So, there you have it. Let's check it out. Well, my dear friend, this is how you can create the elimination effect from the Beast games. If you've liked the tutorial, this is not the last one. Share the content. Keep coming to see the rest of what we have in this series. How to edit like Beast games. And until I meet you in the next episode, peace. I used to struggle, lost in frames Hours wasted, chasing names Clips were scattered, so much to fix Sifting through the mess with no quick tricks The timeline tangled, my mind was fried Tears were falling, but I still tried